What's going on guys? So what do you say that we finish this up? So I almost forgot one of the most important parts of a vampire um, for fangs. I need to give her some fangs. So I'm just gonna make a new layer. Call it fangs. And I'm just gonna paint it in. Simple as that. Just gonna use my brush. Take a sample of the teeth. Turn the opacity up. There, there we go. Now she's got her fangs. And last time I said we we're gonna add some jewelry, so I'm gonna give her an armband right here. So I'm just gonna grab another picture, and I'm gonna use this right here. We're looking here, not here. Not here, here, all right? Paste that in. And let me just get it roughly to line up. Turn the opacity down to help us out. Lighten this up. Go footing mask. Now we'll put a mask on and just start start to blend this in. Just gonna do a little bit of dodging and burning. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of a little bit of orange reflected light from the pumpkin. These would be reflecting some of the orange on the pumpkin, so we're just gonna paint that in and give that illusion. All right, and we have a little bit of a highlight on the edge of our arm we brought in. And, but our original arm doesn't have any highlights, so I'm gonna get rid of that highlight. 
We're gonna make another layer, put it on darken. Take a sample from our original arm. And I'm just gonna darken in that highlighted area. We want to have the original arm show through as much as we can. All right, I think that looks good. Next, we're going to add in the background. But before I do that, I'm just going to scale her up and get her to the position I want her to be. About like that. There we go. And I'm just gonna add in a little bit of a boot. Just gonna get the top part here. Paste that in. And just warp it to the shape of the leg. And maybe do a little bit of a an orange cast from the pumpkin. And just add a hint of a shadow. All right, the boot looks good. And now I've had her hair like this for the past couple of videos. And I normally do clip hair out, but I don't think I need to this time. Uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do in a second. Just gonna duplicate this, put it on multiply, and turn this layer back on, and just mask off the edges. And I do normally clip hair out on most occasions, but if you can get away with not doing it, then why not? Because clipping hair out can be a pain in the butt. Uh, now I just need to make a new layer that's gonna, uh, that's gonna unify all the hair color. Because you'll notice it's kind of black here, but here it's kind of a reddish brown almost, and here just kind of brown. But I'm just going to make one layer on top of that, one color layer, to bring that all together. So I'm going to call that hair color. Just going to make a gray. Let's see how that works. And it's going to paint in this gray color. Let's use a bigger brush. Let's do it down here a little bit. Here. And here. And let's put that on color. Maybe soft light. Now let's do color. Soft light makes it too dark. Turn our opacity down a tad. And maybe we just want to turn up the highlights on our bangs a bit. All right, I think that's good. I think that's good. I think she's all finished up finally. And now we can do the background. So I'm going to bring in our background image. This guy here, just gonna select all and copy. And let's collapse all these groups. 
because they're huge. Paste in our background, make a new group, and just call it background. That's good. Just darken some of this area up back here. Gonna tweak the color of the background because I want the pumpkins to match this pumpkin. They just need a little more, a little more red in them. Yeah, that's all they needed. That's all they needed. I think I'm just gonna very, very generally blur that out. Just darken our pumpkin up a little bit so it matches the background lighting a little better. go and I'm gonna put in a different sky a little more of an ominous sky so I'm just gonna make a very general selection copy it paste that in Put a mask on it and just blend the bottom. And we're gonna blur that out because it's too sharp. And I'm just gonna paint in some mist. And I'm gonna just use a white brush. Or I'm just gonna paint with white. And just kind of a general rule of thumb, you want your focal point of the image to be the brightest part. Um, I've seen some people do photo uh, photo composites, and they're just like a hodgepodge of bright spots everywhere. And it's your eye just gets really confused. You don't know where to look. Your eye just bounces all over the place. So uh, it's not universally true. I mean, there's always exceptions for everything, but general rule of thumb, the focal point should be the brightest part, and if you need to artificially darken out other sections, then then you do that. And I'm gonna make a new layer at the very top, and just paint in some, just darken the whole bottom a little bit. Now let's add some color. Let's add some color casting and really add a mood to it. So what can we do here? All right. Uh, let's go to color lookup. Horror blue. That's way too intense, but let's try to turn that down. We can use a little bit of that. Yeah. And let's maybe go to levels. See what kind of colors we can add. Maybe give a little bit of a blue cast.
and I'm just playing around here. There's no, there's no right or wrong way to do it at this point. It's just, you know, whatever kind of color look I think works. I like that. I like that. Do a bit of a purpley blue overcast over here. And this edge of the pumpkin is bothering me for some reason. I think I need to add some more highlights and shadows to it. Something about it doesn't look right to me. Gonna paint in some shadows down here. And maybe paint in some highlights. Let's give it some bright spots here. Oh. Blur that out. Hmm. Yeah, I think that looks better. Before and after. Yeah, I like that better. That works better. And I think to contrast the to contrast the orange and the blue, I'm gonna add a little bit of a green color cast, actually. Let's make that a little more green. That's very subtle. But subtle's good. You don't want to overdo it. And I think I'm going to add a little more white to the back. Just to pop her off even more. Alright, so I think we can call this piece done. I mean, really, I could probably sit here for another hour or two and just keep tweaking with colors, trying different color casts, trying different greens and blues, um, and seeing what I like better. But at some point, you just gotta walk away and call it done, uh, which is what I'm gonna do. So, thanks for watching. Have a happy Halloween. Eat a lot of candy. Drink a lot of pumpkin beer. Puke them both up and pass out, because that's what I'm gonna do. All right, take care.